What's up, you guys? What's up? What's up? What's up, divas? What's up, divos? I'm trying to make sure this color is good in the video right now. I have like this light that's behind me. It's a floodlight, and I got it from Amazon. $25, girl. It can change colors and all of that, you know. So I do have it featured in like some of my videos, like pink background or purple, whatever. It will also mess up your skin color. So you don't want to like, you know, put it to, put too many colors because girl, you'll look the, you'll look green. So I have that's the reason why I had to do another video today. Over because of that issue. It all depends on that and your shirt color. So that's why I don't really like to wear like too many shirts of different colors, like blue. Um blue is a color that will really mess up your um your screen, like your color and your setting. You know, Amazon got everything. They are just super duper cheap. I love them. Like I seriously love Amazon. Amazon, like for real. I hope y'all are having like a really great day. You know what I mean? I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I am good. Got this shirt for five below. You know where everything is five dollars or below. Though they are lying because I seen some stuff in it for eight dollars and I seen some stuff in it for ten dollars. But the t-shirts are all five, so you know I will take that. I love me a good t-shirt. This is from a company called Forever Beauty. I do believe I worked with them before, probably like once or twice. And they sent me this tea part wig, already colored and all that good stuff, so I didn't have to do nothing, girl. I did bleach in the, the middle of the tea and on the edges, but you know, like with a tea part, you don't really get that much edges, girl. And, and I don't really got that much edges, so I'm just saying, we are like neck and neck right here, me and this wig. You know, the color is really nice. Um, as for the lace, it looks like it's gonna be decent. So we're just gonna give it a try, you know what I'm saying? I already styled it too girl so that way y'all don't gotta waste so much time with me like seriously i was just gonna do a voiceover video today because i have two others to do and i was like well you did this. they could just hear my voice they don't need to just you know what i'm saying but then i was like you know what i'm gonna just come through and say hey girl hey y'all already know i'm gonna show you how your wig comes prior to doing anything to it okay To tell you something I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do I'd rather spend my precious time Chasing somebody who loves me too If I got a dollar for Every time you slam the door I would be the richest girl alive Life, life if you hadn't run away every time i asked you stay you would sleep right next to me tonight but you didn't know me all you wanted was a game to play and you couldn't handle that i had my ways i found your mind tricks and your side tricks i'm a winner babe but you didn't win this it's a part of the game Beginning, I just didn't know that you're an enemy. I held too close. Now I know, cause you did everything to prove me wrong. You were not the guy I thought. Now I'm be beating you at your own. Yeah, if I got a dollar for every time you slammed the door, I would be the richest girl alive. Alive. You wanted was a game to play
All right, all right, all right. So we're going to get through this really, really quick. As you guys know, I love sideburns in my wigs because it just makes it look so much more natural. But this is up to you. You really don't have to do it. I'm also going to just make some like wispy hairs on the side. You guys know it's a tea part, so you are limited to edge space, you know, as well as parting space. But we're going to get through this. So as I was saying, the hair, oh, I didn't say it yet, but I'm going to say it now. The hair is actually really soft. Like the color came out really nice. I give them that and it stayed soft. Girl, every time I take that top off of that daggone hairspray, it's always a challenge. Like it seemed like it wanted to stick itself down. But anyway, you know, I'm using the bed head to just secure my wig down. I do like to use bed head. I also like to use the got to be in the pink can, which is the glam force one. I think it's called, um, as for the instant hold one by got to be in like the aqua blue and purple can. Not a huge fan of it. I do notice some white residue. So I sometimes spray underneath, as you see me here, and also in between the part that I made from just, you know, removing some of the hairline. Girl, if you want it to hold for days, you need to do both, underneath and on top. That way it'll stick down. The only issue that I ever have with any of my wigs when I'm sticking them down is just the sideburns. They always seem to come up. And you're gonna repeat those steps on the opposite side my favorite toothbrush and one of my favorite styling mousses which is from the dollar tree which is the salon selectors now you guys know how much i love that green toothbrush i've had that daggone thing for years so i try to save it for the best occasions you know because i don't want to lose it like i did before but it is one of my favorites now as you see i'm just going to mess around the, the baby hairs are not going to be perfect right here because i don't really care for them to be perfect all I needed to do was basically, I just try to sculpt the hairs on the side. So when I'm finished with the whole styling, I will be lifting those baby hairs up and give them a more loose, you know, loose look. Cause I don't really like stuff stuck to my skin. But, um, so I don't really worry about the uh, style of the baby hairs because I know I'm going to lift them up. And just for flattening the hair, making it a lot more flush to my hairline, I do use a hot comb, but girl, be careful when you're using a hot comb because these things get pretty darn hot. The one thing that protected my skin was the little elastic band that I have tied around, and I just use that to hold down my hairs, okay? So I just sewed some elastic together. And this is the part where I was talking about, see? I don't really care how the baby hairs look. I just use them for the curvage. You know, I give them a little curvage, and that way, once I'm ready to style the hair, I don't have them all sticking to my hairline I don't really like them sticking to my hairline but that's up to you guys but the hair is really soft and you know I'm not like a huge fan of tea parts but this one came out decent and okay I like it it came out nice So this is how it came out, you know, with a T-part. You don't really have much leverage as on the sides for the edges. So I did the best that I could. You know, it does look decent. I didn't want like a bunch of baby hairs. I just wanted it to look natural. It is rather long. The wig is super duper soft, like really soft. I'm, I'm impressed. The hair is really nice and sleek and soft, you know, and the density is nice. It's just, it's just long. It's just long. And I did have it curled overnight, like pink curl, but you know, I hate, I think it's always best for me to do it on myself to curl a wig because it always seems like every time I curl a wig, one side always comes out different and better. So that's the part that be driving me crazy. You know, might need to cut the ends a little bit, but that just could be for me the way I curled it. Oh, I hate when I when it doesn't come out the way I expect it. I love you all. I will leave all of the information down below. You know I got to go. Make sure you rate, uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, girls. And if you ain't subscribed, what you waiting for? It's free. It's free. And it definitely helps me. But I love you all. Stay safe out there. Behave yourselves. And I will see y'all on the next one.